Want to turn your TradingView strategy or indicator alerts into real-time trades in your futures account without any coding? In this step-by-step -step guide, I'll show you exactly how to automate your trades using Project X and Pick My Trade. You'll learn how to link your accounts, configure alerts, manage risk, and go fully hands-free. Let's get started. Step 1. Connect your Project X account. The first thing you need to do is connect your Project X account to PickMyTrade.io. To do this, go to the top right corner of your PickMyTrade dashboard and click on Connections. In Pick My Trade connection name, give it a custom label like Projects 1 then, click Add New Connection, now fill out the fields, type in your Project X username, this is usually your registered email. Then, paste your Project X API key. This key authorizes secure trade execution. Now, where do you find this API key? Simple, just log in to your Top Step X dashboard. Then head over to Settings, and inside there, look for the API tab. Before you generate the API key, make sure your Top Step X account is already linked to Project X. If it's not linked, you won't be able to create API keys. Here's how to do it it just takes a minute in your Top Step X settings, click the Link button next to Project X. This will take you to the Project X dashboard there, you'll see an option to buy an API subscription, and just below that, you'll find your linked Top Step X account. Once that link is active, you'll be able to go back and generate new API keys without any issues. Then select Add New API Key to generate one. Once it's created, click the eye icon to reveal the key. Copy it, and now you're ready to paste it into Pick My Trade. And finally, for prop firm name, enter the name of your proprietary firm if you have one, like Top Step X, once filled, hit save. If done correctly, your connection status will now show as active and you're ready for automation. Once you have made sure you are connected to your Project X account, next, go to the left-hand sidebar and click on Generate Alert. This is where we define the alert that gets triggered from TradingView and executed via Project X. You'll fill out a few important fields like broker, alert type, symbol, and more, which I'll walk you through now. Start by selecting your broker. In this case, choose Project X from the dropdown, then pick the alert type. You have two options choose indicator if you're using TradingView indicators like RSA, MACD, or support slash resistance alerts, choose strategy only if you've built a PineScript strategy and want to automate it directly. Now, we'll go with indicator, since that's the most common use case. The symbol field is where you enter the assets trading view ticker, like MNQ1, for micro NASDAQ futures. This field is optional but required if you use stop loss types like ticks or total PNL in dollars. Let's talk about how alerts behave. It's important to understand what happens behind the scenes, a buy alert will either open a new buy position or add to your existing buy order. If you're in a sell position, it will first close that position and cancel all open sell orders. A sell alert does the reverse, it either adds to a sell order or closes your buy position and flips it. A close alert will shut down all open positions and cancel any open orders, but it won't open new trades. So, let's select buy option. You have two options for defining trade size. Option A, quantity set a fixed number of contracts, like one or two. Simple and predictable. Option B, risk percentage, this is more dynamic. You specify a percentage, like 2%, and the system will calculate the right position size so your loss doesn't exceed 2% of your account based on your stop loss. Now when it comes to stop loss, take profit, and account selection, the process remains exactly the same for strategy-based alerts as it does for indicator-based ones. So, with that out of the way, let's now move on to setting up alerts using the strategy option in Pick My Trade. Now, let's say we're automating a strategy. Enter the trading view symbol, like MNQ1. Next, Pick My Trade needs to know how your strategy handles exits. Select yes. If your strategy has multiple take profits, it can be automated. However, you can't attach take profit or stop loss directly to the entry order. Otherwise, select no for this walkthrough, we'll assume no, and let Pick My Trade handle RSL slash TP directly on entry. Now let's configure the stop loss and take profit for this strategy alert. Just a quick reminder, Project X does not support multi-bracket orders, so you can only have one active SL and TP per symbol at any time. If you fire a new entry alert in the same direction, it will overwrite the previous SL slash TP values. You can choose from four SL slash TP types, points or dollars from entry price. Percentage. Ticks, ideal for futures. 
or total PNL in dollars. So, make sure you input the correct trading view symbol for accurate risk calculations. So, now I'll enter SL equals 100, and lot size for M and Q1 is 2 by default, so, this means your total loss per contract will be $200 then. Let's enter TP200. By same calculations, total profit per contract will be $400. With the percentage option, you define stop loss and take profit as a percentage change from your entry price. I'll input, stop loss equals 2 and take profit equals 3. This method is dynamic, it adjusts the SL and TP levels automatically based on where your trade actually gets filled. That makes it ideal for risk management that adapts to different price ranges. Now, let's select ticks as our stop loss and take profit type. Ticks are especially useful in futures trading where each instrument has a fixed tick size and value. Instead of entering price points or percentages, we define our risk and reward in terms of tick distance. Let's say I enter stop loss ticks equals 500 and take profit ticks equals 1000. As soon as I do that, pick my trade will calculate the exact SL and TP price levels based on the symbol I selected. In this case, I'm trading MNQ1, where the tick size is 0.25 and the lot size is 2.SO. Now the calculation goes like this. 500 ticks times 2 lots times 0.25 tick value equals $250 total loss and by same calculation this means your total profit per contract will be $500 light bulb that means if the market moves 500 ticks against me, I'll lose $250 if it moves 1000 ticks in my favor, I'll make $500 it's a super precise way to control your risk and reward, especially for scalpers or funded account traders where tick control really matters. Now let's select the total profit slash loss USD option. With this method, you simply enter how much you're willing to lose or gain per trade and now, we are trading MNQ1. And set a stop loss of $100 and a take profit of $200, the system will automatically place your SL and TP based on those dollar values where you'll only lose $100 if the trade goes against you or make $200 if it hits your target. It's an easy way to keep your risk fixed and predictable. Now, in the account management section, you have the option to manage trades in the same pick my trade account or a different one. If you want to place the trade in the same account you're currently logged into, just select no option. Then, simply choose your Project X connection name and your account name from the drop down menus, and you're good to go. If you want to add multiple accounts or manage trades for someone else, start by selecting yes when asked if you're using a different account and next. Go to the Add Account section here, you have two options, you can add multiple Project X logins directly into your current Pick My Trade account, perfect if you're managing your own accounts all in one place. Or, you can add an account from a different Pick My Trade login. To do that, you'll need to enter the Pick My Trade token from the other account, followed by the connection name, the Project X account name, and your desired quantity multiplier. This method is ideal if you're managing trades on behalf of someone else or across multiple logins for this video. We'll go with the first option adding another Project X login to the same Pick My Trade account. So, we'll select the Project X account name, then set the quantity multiplier to 2. This lets you adjust the size of your trades automatically without changing your strategy setup. Once you click Add Account, Pick My Trade will handle the routing, sending trades exactly to the Project X account. Once your config is ready, click on Generate Alert. You'll now get a webhook URL and JSON payload, this is what you'll paste into your trading view alert. Once you've copied the webhook URL from PickMyTrade, head over to your trading view chart, click the plus alert icon, then go to the notifications tab. I in the webhook URL box, simply paste the link you got from PickMyTrade. Then in the message body, paste the exact JSON payload. Then, set your alert condition as per your strategy or indicator. and click Create. That's it, your TradingView alert is now live and connected to real trades. Now, let's see how it all works in real time. Here in TradingView, our buy order just got triggered. Moving over to PickMyTrade.io, inside the alert section, you can see that the order on MNQ1 has been successfully placed. All the values, including entry, exit, and sizing, are pre-filled exactly as we configured. Now, take note of the entry ID here in Pick My Trade, and let's head back to Top Step X to check if the order has been filled successfully.
Here in top step X, we can now verify that the order was filled using the same entry ID. You'll also notice that the take profit was submitted as a limit order, and the stop loss as a stop market order exactly as configured. And just like that, you've automated your futures trading using Project X and PickMyTrade, all from a simple indicator or strategy alert.